In America, we have the right to do gift giving. Gift giving is a practice that is still functioning all over the world. Those of us who are history buffs and love PBS know that in England they still handle a bunch of gift giving. They also have some odd gift giving situations where they put crazy things inside their Christmas cakes, but we won't get into that. In Japan, they have majorly two areas or two times a year when gift giving is essential to relationships in business and other types of propriety relationships. However, in America, the concept of gift giving isn't that hard. We as a people all across the land tend to give gifts at birthdays, gifts at anniversaries, gifts on Halloween, not at all, but we still do that in trick-or-treating, and openly gifts during Valentine's Day to talk about love, and gifts during the holidays that are supposed to celebrate a divine being from above. When we talk about gift giving, we also talk about old proverbs or old statements like Indian giver. An Indian giver was represented long ago in our history during the cowboy wars and cowboy Indian times in which an Indian would gift something and then he would go into someone's home and take it back. There are people who do that. So when we talk about someone actually offering to pay for something, there is still that illness in that person of financial abuse that says, now that I've given it to you, I can come back to you when you're not paying attention, or I can come at you when you're sleeping, and I can take it or take something else in place of the money that I've given you. This is an illness in America. It is a definite form of financial abuse, and a lot of times the things they want to take is something improper and almost a fetish because it's some form of sexual assault, meaning it's some form of something that is so outrageous that you would never do it in public without the person's knowledge. Does that make sense? That human trafficking says, I'm going to give you financial money and you too can give that person financial money and then when he's not cognizant, you can go and abuse him. That is immoral before God, and yet many Christians in Christendom who claim to be of God's house play this game. And what I can tell you in this time of COVID is God is displeased with us again and again. 